Alright, uh, today we are going to count the number of fractional cubes in a rectangular prism. So we have a rectangular prism in here. Um, each cube is a cube like this. Let's make a cube. So a cube is a square prism. So that means um, every single edge on this is one fourth by one fourth by one fourth. So the uh, base is one fourth times one fourth and the height is one fourth. And how many of these cubes fit into this rectangular prism? Go ahead and pause the video and count them up. Right, what did you come up with? That's right, so, so we have one right here, a second one right here. So we have one, two um, on one side, and we have four on the other side, and two times four is eight. Or we can just count them up. We have eight in the top. And we know that it, since it's a rectangular prism, um, the bottom has another 8. So 8 plus 8, we have 16 cubes in this rectangular prism. Let's look at this a different way with a different kind of question. Alright, so we have this question. A rectangular prism has a volume of 4 units cubed and is made up of one-fourth units cubed. How many one-fourth units cubed are there? Well, uh, first off, we need to be able to draw this. One times four times one is four units cubed. So we have a base of four and one and a height of, of one. Well, how many one-fourth units are in one whole? That's right, we have four fourth units. One equals four fourths. So we have, we'll split this in two and then split that into two pieces again. We have four fourths going across there. Now this, uh, this side here, this vertices, or this edge right here is the same as this one. So we have another one at the bottom there. And how many, uh, how many fourths are in one hole? Again, equals four fourths. One hole is four fourths. So we have another, we'll split that in half, split it in half again. And we have one, two, three, four of our one, fourth units. How many across for four? How many across for four units? That's right, four equals 16 fourths, right? 16 fourths. So we would have to split this up into, into half, into half again, which gives us four, into half again, which gives us eight, and then each of these eight, we split in half again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen uh, fourths in our units. And of course, we would have to make all these lines over here connect across. All of them connect across, and then we'd have to fill in the rest. But the question is now, how many one-fourth units are in this? Well, we could count all of them, right? We have one, two, three, four, and then we can count uh, 16 of those four. Well, we can do that pretty easily, right? 16 times four, instead of counting all of them, 16 times 4. 6 times 4 is uh, 24. And 1 times 4 is 4 plus 2. We have 64 units Pregnant. at the very top row. Yeah. Well, 
How many are there in to how many rows are there in total? One, two, three, and four. So we have sixty-four at the top. Plus sixty-four. Plus sixty-four. Plus sixty-four. And how do we do that a little easier? We say sixty-four times four. What do we get? Four times four is sixteen. And six times four is twenty-four plus one. 25. So we have 256 unit, uh, sorry, one fourth unit cubes. 256 one fourth unit cubes. All right, get on uh, Canvas and you get to work, do some of this on your own. You can always uh, rewind the video, watch it again, slow motion, count them up yourself, uh, keep on going, keep on persevering. I'm seeing great work from you all the time and it's so good to see, uh, see that work. Again, call me or email me if you have any questions.